Tu bizcocho, el agua. ¿Dónde está el bizcocho? Se convirtió en agua, pero es más saludable el agua. Y no tiene calorías, no engorda. Mm. Mm, mm. Ese, ¿Qué es esa cara? Tan miedosa. Yo... Sí. Programming. Programming. The human biocomputer by <laughs> the author John C. Lilly, medical doctor. Mm. A ver. Mm. Página uno. Programming the Human Biocomputer by John Cunningham Lilly, M.D. Translated by Beverly A. Potter, Ph.D. Why is it translated? <laughs> Did he speak another language? Hmm. Drawn in Berkeley. Hmm. Mm. 1967, 1968 by John C. Lilly, M.D. Mm -hmm. Derivative copyright 2004 by Beverly A. Potter and Philip Hansen Bailey. Published by Ronin Publishing Inc., Oakland, California. Credits Beverly A. Potter, Doc Potter, cover art David Chabot, cover design Beverly A. Potter. Text font Times News Romans. Mm, all rights reserved. Distributed to the trade by Publishers Group West. Derived from programming and metaprogramming in the human bio computer by Beverly A. Potter. Ah. Derived. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. Acknowledgements. Uh, thank you to loved ones and colleagues who, whose perseverance made this edition possible, including Mary Louise Crouch Lilly, for her pioneering contributions in Dolphin Communication Studies and the Study of Human Consciousness. Tony, loving wife and eternal friend. Hmm. Ah, this is weird. Colette and John Lilly Jr for the support and many efforts through many years. Patricia Sims for her unwavering intelligence and joy. Perrin and David Lilly for their understanding and longevity. Anne and Jerry Moss for their spirited kindness. There's a lot of lilies. There's an Ellie. <laughs> Coral Reef Foundation Institute of Ecotechnics Ecotechniques? No, Ecotechniques I think The October Gallery, London And the good ship R.V. Herag Heraclitus Heraclitus John Allen Tango Gay Laser <laughs> Ad Infinitum for your good work and presence on the planet in Japan Joichi Ito Yasuhito Suga Kazuo Miyabe and Takashima Doc. Mm. 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 Mm.
Potter for her Earth Side Translation. That's weird. And Philip Hansen, Bailey Lilly for his duty, honor, and grace. This edition is respectfully dedicated to the memory of a dear friend, son, brother, and gentle soul, Charles Richard Lilly. Friend, son, and brother? Mm. Okay. Preface by John Allen. Introduction by John Lilly. Here's some topics. Human biocomputer, inner realities, what are we? Theory, self-metaprogramming, Pavlovian programming, Skinnerian programming, the thinking machine, science versus religion, basic metaprograms of existence, personal, personal metaprogram language, programming chemicals, training sessions, projection principles, logic system, evasions, coalitions, and interlock, computer interlock, metaprogramming, body language, perception and belief, interactions, positive system state, major metaprograms, glossary, John Cunningham Lilly, MD by Gerald <coughs> Houghton, afterward by Rick Doblin, PhD, maps, cultural citation, scientific and academic, Lances running books for independent minds. We shall meet somewhere in Alternity. Programming the human biocomputer. Transmits methods by which a human can achieve stupendous feats of first discovering our mind's extraordinary wishes and dreams and second making them authentic by aligning them with the limiting reality of the human body or bodies. Lily's book emerged from years of rigorous, intensive, even ruthless investigations of his mind confined in experimental, experiential conditions that went beyond even the walled-in fasting cave of the Tibetan master or the deep labyrinthine caves of the ancient shaman, namely the flotation tank, which eliminates input from other humans and from outer sense impressions, as well as the effects of gravity on the nervous system. Interesting. Secondly, of course, Lily also used, as did the old masters, a refined self-observation and memory to note and record the slightest movements of state, perception, or concept emerging from the inner cave. A refined self-observation and memory to note and record the slightest movements of state, percept, or concept emerging from the inner cave. Thirdly, he did his work in, an, in a less paranoid era in which qualified investigators could freely obtain LSD. In Lilly's case, through the U.S. Navy, and so legal or emotional fears of persecution did not contaminate its use. <gasps> he did use LSD? LSD produced time-dependent phenomena in nine hours that would take months of fasting in caves to achieve. Fourthly, Lily dropped dependence upon sectarian metaphors of archetypes, gods, platonic, platonic forms, and geometries, and developed the neutral metaphor of computer programs and metaprograms to which he added self metaprograms who those which an eye could operate he boldly experimented with supra self programs 
that modeled various cosmologies and reduced his observational eye to a microdot explorer free to travel anywhere in that world. Lily's experimental cosmos cannot be reduced to a page or so. I do suggest that this book possesses a metaphysical integrity and transmitting charisma unparalleled in scientific culture, although Lawrence's behind the mirror and the dynamics of chaos give useful background material, Lily gives us a universal methodology stripped of ideological clothing to explore all mental phenomena. His methods and results vividly light up ultimate intricacies of Tantra, marvelous revelations of Gurdjieff about properties of the eye, seven-level Sufi teaching stories, and extraordinary discoveries of self-organizing complexities and physio-psychology -psycho about the nervous system, DNA, and hormones. Lily's work stands alone, original, not a commentary on past masterpieces. This book is a treasure house through which any seeker after truth who insists upon not abandoning the scientific method and physical reality can find, staring one in the face, how to enter into a direct creative relationship with one's mind. John Allen, Biosphere 2. Hmm.